Hello, today I'm going to discuss an issue that has angered me many times. How to get music off an iPod. Here I have a brand new iPod Nano 8GB. Now, this is not mine. Somebody's already put music on it. Now, I'd like to share this music and put it on my computer. And as you may know, Apple takes certain precautions to make it so you can't do that. And I'm going to show you a way around it. There are many ways to get music off an iPod. The one I know of is kind of tedious if you have a lot of files, but it does work. I tried it on a couple different iPods. First, before we start, we need to open iTunes. iTunes usually tries to automatically sync with an iPod once it's plugged in. You want to go to Preferences. We want to avoid that. We're trying to get the music off. We don't want to erase the contents of this iPod. So let's go into Devices. And we want to select Prevent iPods, iPhones, and iPads from syncing automatically. That's right here on this screen. Once that's selected, click OK. Now we can plug in our iPod. iTunes will recognize the iPod and pull it up. And here it is on the left side of the screen. Let's click on the iPod. There's a few different options on the top of the screen here. This one has summary, music, podcasts, and photos. There will be fewer options on older iPods. This one has four options. Under summary, you want to scroll down. Now this may be called something else if it's a different iPod, but the options should be the same. Under options, you want to click enable disk use. It gives a warning and enabling disk use requires manual ejecting the iPod before you disconnect it. Not a big deal, just say okay. Now if the disk use is already enabled, you're good to go. If it's not, make sure it is en enabled. Click apply. It's saying that it's syncing the iPod. I don't want to sync it. Okay, it's done with that. It's not actually syncing the music. Good. Now, let's take the iPod out. Let's quit iTunes. Next time I plug this iPod in, it should show up as a USB drive. Now let's take a look. And there it is. There's the iPod. It's on the desktop. We can open it. And let's take a look. What do we have here? It looks like the iPod's empty. Now there is music on this iPod. I promise you that. There's a lot of it on there. But we can't see it because the files are hidden right now. iTunes is open. We don't need it right now. Just go ahead and quit iTunes. What we need to do is to be able to see the hidden files. I have something called Secrets on my computer. It's under System Preferences. And normally, if you haven't done any hacker type things to your computer, you're going to have your personal hardware, internet and wireless, and system options. And if you add other things, you can have another category called Other, where you can add things to it. So. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to download secrets. You'll need this. It's very easy to download. Open up your web browser. Go on Google. Search for Secrets Mac Download. Okay, the first one that comes up is MacUpdate.com. That's what the website looks like. Here I see Secrets 1.0.6. Download now. Go ahead and click Download. You have chosen to open secrets.106.zip. What we want to do is save the file and then open it up and install this program. So we're going to go into our downloads, open up the zip file, and there's the secrets.preference pane right here. I've already installed it, so I'm not going to click on this. But what you need to do if you don't have secrets on your computer, just install the secrets. It's going to add that extra little panel to your system preferences. Go back into your system preferences. Click on secrets. Now we have a whole bunch of options we didn't have before. What I'm interested in is showing the hidden files. Select show hidden files. Now if you take a quick look at the desktop, it is not showing my hidden files yet. On the bottom of the screen, in red, it says, you may need to quit this to see changes. Quit this means quit Finder. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh-oh, all my icons are gone. What we need to do now, normally when you open programs, you use Finder to open them. But how do you open Finder if it's closed? Easy, just use Spotlight. If you tell Spotlight to open a folder, any folder, I'm just going to say 
applications. I'm going to tell it to open the applications folder and it will realize that it needs to open Finder now. And there it is, Finder is back. And we can now see hidden files on the desktop. Let's go ahead and open the iPod and see what's inside. These are the files on the iPod. We couldn't see these before. Take a look in the iPod control folder, then the music folder. And there are a bunch of folders here, F00, F01. Unfortunately, doing it this method, it's a little bit of a pain. Each folder will contain songs with sort of strange file names, aeha.m4a, aobo. They're not very indicative as to the contents of the song, however, the ID3 tags are still intact. iTunes kind of messed up the names, but no big deal. You can actually, once you get the files off of here, you can correct that quite easily without having to do anything. Let's go ahead and copy this music. I'm going to make a new folder on the desktop. Here we go. Let's call it New Music. And then all we have to do is just select these songs, put them in the folder. And what I'm effectively doing right now is copying the music off the iPod onto my computer. And you can do this, you're going to have to do it one folder at a time. So there we go, we just did F00, then F01 has more music in it. Like I said, it's a little bit tedious. They actually have programs that will do this for you. Haven't tried any of them yet. Um, I'll look into that sometime soon. So at this point, the songs are a bit of a mystery. I don't really know what they are since the file names are kind of funny. But it's okay, we can just click on them. iTunes will open. It's going to copy it. And there it is. That song that was called BBKG is actually I Do by Toya. So you're not going to know what the songs are before you actually copy them. You can also copy the entire folder at once, just add it to your iTunes library. And that makes it quite a bit easier. There it is, it's copying them now. So we just got around the whole iTunes not allowing you to copy music, just like that. So there we are. Now I have all those songs that were on the iPod, they are now in my iTunes. And one last thing, once we're done copying, we obviously want to bring our desktop back to normal. I still have all the hidden files. Open up your system preferences. There they are. Go back to your new little toy, the secrets. Unclick show hidden files. You have to quit Finder again. There it is, our icons are gone. No big deal. Use Spotlight to open the folders. I choose the application folder, that's my favorite one. There it is, Finder's back. Let's close out the system preferences and we're all done here.